Welcome to the instruction video of Sonic Factory. We'll have a look on how to take our decisions for the game. We have the Department of Management, Marketing, Logistics, Personnel and Finance. Every department has got graphs and when you click on a graph a table appears. When you position your mouse over an economical term an explanation appears on the screen. On the left we have an inbox where messages can appear. Below we have the feedback for every department and after the processing of a round the ranking will appear in the ranking based on the general reserve. First we start off with reading the market information. The information for the test round can be found in the competition guide. This can be downloaded at downloads. Please read this very carefully before the beginning of the test round. In the competition guide you will find a description of your company, a balance sheet, profit and loss statement and information about the market in which you are competing. We start off at marketing and you can have a look at all the prices of the products at the markets, your share in the sales promotion and your market share. Let's have a look at the market share at the starting situation of the game. We can see for the wholesale market we sold 17,000 pieces which made out of 10% market share. In the retail market we sold 65,000 pieces which was also 10% market share. All the competitors in the game start out with the same starting situation. Now let's go to the decision page. Here we can fill in our decisions for marketing. As you can see, we filled in the sales prices for the wholesale market and the retail market, the sales promotion we want to do, and we made on accordingly a sales estimate. Of course, when you have a different sales price and sales promotion, you have to change your sales estimate accordingly. Now let's have a look at the calculation module to see the pre-calculation on the basis of our sales estimate. We can see our remaining available budget. Furthermore, we get advice from our accountant. Please read this very carefully. Then we see the estimated sales and turnover on the wholesale market and the retail market and an estimated profit and loss. This estimated profit and loss is calculated on the basis of our sales estimate. Of course, our results are not only dependent on our own decisions and our sales estimate, but they are dependent on the decisions of our competitors and the development of the market itself. We can now send our decisions and go to the next department, which is logistics. Here we can have a look at our stock of goods and the stock of the parts we have. Furthermore, we can have a look at the production capacity. It's very important to keep, keep a good eye on the production capacity because the machines will be depreciated. So always make sure you have enough production capacity at the end of the round. Now let's go to the decisions. We can here purchase our parts for the units and do our, make our production. After we have done that, we can look at the pre-calculation of our logistics in the calculation module. We can see our remaining available budget, the stock of goods of the TNT and the stock that we have of parts of the TNT. Furthermore, we can see the production capacity. We can now send our decisions and go to personnel. Sonic Factory does not employ production staff. If necessary, the company will use temporary personnel. Now let's go to finance and have a look at our profit and loss statement. You can see in the starting situation that we had a net profit of 92,445 euros. Looking at our balance sheet, we can see we have 247 
thousand euros in the bank and we still have financing space credit space at the bank of 3.6 million let's go to the decision page and here we can see not only our available budget but also the total expenses in advance let's have a closer look at the available budget we can see the amount we have in the, in the bank we can see the money we still get from our debtors minus the money we still have to pay to our creditors which is positive and we have to pay some corporate tax furthermore we have credit space at the bank which all makes up for our available budget of more over 4 million euros the total expenses in advance consist of the sales promotion these are the decisions we have made in marketing the expenses for the wages of the temporary personnel and expenses for the purchases of the parts below you can fill in how you are going to pay the total expenses in advance first of all you fill in as much as possible money you can take out of your bank account because we get 0% interest on that to calculate the withdrawal we have to make from the current account credit at the bank we also have to take in account the amount of money that we still get from our debtors minus what we have to pay for the creditors and the amount of money we have to pay to corporate tax we can now make a pre-calculation and have a look at our estimated profit and loss and our estimated balance Please note that we use the comma as a thousand separator and the point as a decimal separator. We can now send our decisions and go back to management. Here we can check our decisions. You can see the overview of the decisions of every department. Marketing, logistics and finance. You can always change your decisions at the departments themselves. This can be done until the processing of the round. We've now taken all our decisions and have to wait for the processing of the round to see what our results are. If you have any questions, please send an email to helpdesk at bizgames.nl.